What is up everybody, The Red Dragon here, and we are checking out the latest news of the day. Got a story on the front page of VGN, which is one of those stories, again, I have a lot of these where it's awesome, but at the same time, it's really creepy and scary. And, you know, it's dealing with microchips. And microchips are in freaking everything. From your TV, your cell phone, your computer, your gaming console. They control and, and give directions for all kinds of things. But the next step in microchips isn't to control an electronic device. It's to control you. And there is a team of UK-based scientists who have gotten a grant for $9 million, and they have been studying a microchip which would be implanted into you and attached to your vagus nerve. Now, the vagus nerve controls all sorts of things in your body. It's almost like a highway to the brain that tells the brain what is going on in, in different parts of your body and it can control your breathing, your heart rate, the secretion of acids in your digestive system. Uh, recent research has even linked it to your immune system saying that it has the ability to increase uh, your immune system. So doctors are wanting to implant this chip on your vagus nerve in order to look at obesity, to tell your brain, hey look, you don't really need to eat this because you're not hungry. And so your brain would not feel hunger. You wouldn't have the desire to eat as much. Like you would still eat, of course, and it would uh, go back and forth and tell your brain, hey, you know, you need to eat a little something. And what it does is it looks at the chemicals in the body and, and looks at what, I guess, you need. So if it knows that you need nutrients or whatever, then it can uh, then tell you that you need to eat. But it's going to stop you and tell your brain faster, probably, uh, if you like to eat a lot, that, hey, you know, you don't need to finish this whole entire plate. So you can see where this could possibly go, because if they're able to attach a microchip to your, your nerve and tell your brain that you're no longer hungry, where does it stop and what's next you know telling your brain that hey you know you can run this marathon and you you don't feel tired or you don't need to go to sleep or you can do all this other things so microchips entering the body it is it has already been going on and, and people been talking about like RFID tags and all this other system, like microchips implanted into your body. Uh, but one thing that you don't hear a lot about is microchips actually controlling you and controlling the way you think or the way you you respond to uh, to certain things. And this is just the first step, and they are actually starting clinical human trials within the first or, or next three years, they say. So this is going to be coming up very soon, and they say that this will be so much easier than those, those surgeries where they go in and they put a band around you and stuff. I don't really know all the details because thank goodness I've got a, a high metabolism so I can sit around all day and eat and not really gain a whole lot of weight, but I know some people can't. So post below, tell me what you think about this because I know a lot of people have problems and issues with transforming the body and going in there and manipulating it and things like this. But at the same time, it's like, well, where, where do you stop? Where do you draw the line at what you do in order to progress uh, a human capability? Uh, because, you know, if you, you take that medicine whenever you're a kid in order to get healed, uh, well, I mean, you're using science. You're using something that wasn't natural. It was it was man-made. It was put into your body, and it kept you well, and it got you better. So at what point do you stop and say, hey, this is way too much, you know, tricking your brain and telling it that it doesn't want something that maybe you would otherwise want there's all sorts of things you can do for this so i want to hear your comments below tell me what you think about this is this cool or is this freaking scary or is it both and as always if you want to read this story it's coming from the bbc then i will leave a link in the description box and again if you want the latest news on technology and science and everything freaking awesome check out vgn video games and news Dot com. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.